Hi, well, I'm Professor Stephen Nesheba, and I want to tell you a little bit about the connection between uh, Planck or Planck black bodies and uh, what's called the Stefan Boltzmann formula. So, uh, I think uh, you may already be familiar with this, uh, with the Stefan Boltzmann uh, curve, which I'll just remind you on this x axis here, I've got temperature. And on the vertical axis, what's being measured is the, the intensity or flux. And the idea is that you have, a, you have a body like the sun or maybe the earth. And since all objects glow, uh, this is telling you how much it glows. What's the total intensity of, uh, of light that comes off that object? And uh, as you uh, probably know from experience, the hotter something is, uh, the more it glows. So I've drawn two points on that graph. One would be the temperature of the Earth, which says that it's going to glow with a certain uh, intensity, and another one at the temperature of the Sun. This is a little bit uh, misleading in, this, in that really the Sun is much, much hotter, so this would be really much farther over to the right. But it gets the idea across that the Earth radiates uh, with a certain amount of intensity, and the Sun radiates with much higher intensity. The formula is given by this, the Stefan Boltzmann formula says uh, there's a constant sigma, multiply that by the temperature raised to the fourth power, and that's what that curve is. So the question to, um, to address here is uh, how, does the, how does that come about? And uh, the way we think about that is that we, uh, for any either one of these cases, we try to uh, imagine what would be the spectral distribution? That is to say, what is the intensity, um, you know, according to wavelength by wavelength? And uh, here it's quite, um, it's quite uh, distinctive. And the idea goes something like this: the sun, where over here, um, emits uh, with a, a high intensity at a low wavelength of light. This is a wavelength scale that I've got here. And uh, you may already know this, that the peak of the sun's light happens at about uh, 0.5 microns, which uh, translates to 500 nanometers. And you notice this scale goes from 0.1 to 1. It's a log scale to 10. So uh, 0.5 microns, or 500 nanometers, is about, is about right there. And in fact, the, the visible range uh, runs from about, say, 300 to uh, about 700. So that's the, that's the visible range. You can also see from this that the sun also emits uh, in the uh, shorter wavelength, which is the ultraviolet side, and also in what's called the near IR side. Um, most of the sun uh, emits uh, in the visible range, but there's this, these big wings. So this curve that I've drawn here, it's called a Planck black body. And it's, there's, a, there's a characteristic curve for any uh, uh, object at, at, at any given temperature. The other thing um, that I've drawn here is a Planck black body curve um, for something that's at the temperature of the Earth. So let me just annotate that. That's, that was a Planck black body for the Sun, and this is a Planck black, black body for the Earth. You notice a couple things about this. It's lower, but so the total intensity is much lower than uh, the uh, energy emitted by the sun. In fact, I've really exaggerated this quite a lot, that this curve would actually be quite tiny compared to that uh, of the sun. But I wanted to show you them both at the same time. Uh, the other thing to notice is that the peak of the spectral emission for the, um, for the Planck black, black body function for the Earth happens way over here at a much longer wavelength. It's far outside the visible range. It's way over here. At, it peaks at 10 mic micrometers, which uh, people can't even see. So you can't see the Earth glowing. You have to have special instruments to, uh, to measure it. Um, so uh, I want to now connect uh, what we've just said to the Stefan Boltzmann uh, picture. It's the area underneath here that we plot under the Stefan Boltzmann. So you can see the area under the under the sun's Planck black body curve is really high. The area under the Earth's Planck black body curve is much lower. And again, that's quite exaggerated. This is much bigger than that. Let's see. Uh, I've talked about the visible range, the area underneath the Planck black body. 
the, the remaining point that I wanted to make about this is this distinction that we make between long wave and short wave. It's very simple. We more or less say, well, I'm going to call short wave to be more or less the range uh, that the sun emits in, which we're going to call more or less from 0.1 micrometers out to somewhere between, you know, here and here. We'll call that around 3 microns, 3 micrometers. Okay, so that's going to be short wave, 0.1 to 3 micrometers. And then we're going to call long wave to be uh, more or less where the Earth radiates most of its light, which we're going to call 3 to, let's say, 100 microns. Okay.